how you all doing? So what we're getting up to in this video? Well if you see last week's video you'll know that the bike started up and the engine ran lovely apart from it was only firing on three cylinders which I didn't realise until I came round the front and touched the header pipes and uh, number two header pipe was freezing cold. I did say in a previous video that I bodged that one up with one of these which I wasn't sure was working anyway so I bought a new one of those so we'll be replacing that so yeah now we've got the bike running it's just opened up an old new can of worms number one the turn signals have stopped working so when we put the ignition on yes we get the uh, neutral light we get the oil light and before I'm sure I did get the turn signal lights either side but when I turn the turn signal Baffig. So I'll have to investigate that. Number two, we had an oil leak on the side of the engine with the brand new gasket. Number three, it was only firing on three cylinders. Which Number four, and the biggest worm in the can is the fuel pump. So, yes, let's get investigating okay so first I'm going to sort the engine running problem out not firing on number two cylinder this is the original HT cap uh, where is it Hopefully you can see that that's number two that's the reason I took it off because it wasn't sparking at all it's obviously stacked off in there but you can't get that off and normally you get that off and screw it back in and that end is stretched so I changed it with uh, one of my old Divi uh, HT leads and spark plug and that didn't work so uh, hopefully it's not the HT lead and hopefully it's just the uh, spark plug cap so we've got a new spark plug cap so anyway let's get this on ok then so let's uh, pull that out there tried to salvage that but it didn't do a very good job so if we screw this one off here and uh, get the new one uh, I think I might have to take that off because it might be too thick rubber off then we can push that onto there get rid of the rubber grease just slip a little bit off there hopefully make sure we get a Right on the copper wire and that just does a little screw in there and that just screws on the top obviously as you probably well know just screw it on gently till it stops that should do and hopefully we can push this rubber thing back on I think I'll put that back on but I'll cut that bit off there we go, I'll cut that piece off and we can try and get that back onto there there we go ok so we've got that on there just push that back into the top onto the spark plug make sure it's firmly on there so we can get our trusty funnel
tree has gone flat again which is a bit concerning so I've got the uh, power pack on there ignition on choke on start the button press to run out of fuel there. Wow that sounds perfect. Oh my god again. Oh it's a bit fuby in it. Right then if I go down there draw the other pipes. Oh yeah. broken off as you can see I've re-soldered it back on with some new solder but it still didn't work unfortunately I've taken all the points apart try to clean those but still doesn't work there's a little plunger thing down there what connects to the points you can see that but unfortunately there should be another piece on top of that which hooks onto this top plate it's snapped off so that's never going to work again so basically I was thinking this is definitely knackered so I just went round with a screwdriver bended all these tabs up to have a look inside yeah things are falling off and uh, well that's what it looks like inside there and if we look underneath here you can see it there, it's just totally rotten. So I will be needing a replacement fuel pump. And they're not cheap, even second hand. So it might be a while before we get one of those. And uh, cool, these glasses are too strong. Put my short lookers on. And I'd uh, just like to apologise for any poor filming. You know, I've got a camera about uh, This is a new camera to me, and, uh, and it's pretty difficult to figure out, especially when you've got landfill bikes on your mind and you're trying to film and trying to fix. But I do apologise for some of the darkness of my previous filming, but hopefully this is nice and bright, and we can keep it that way, and in focus. So anyway, what next? Right, let's take a look at the uh, leaky engine gasket. Brand new gasket as well. I don't know, maybe there's some dirt under it or something. Uh, let's get it undone and find out, shall we? I bought all the gaskets from the same place off of eBay and uh, none of the others have failed, so what's going on? Right, you're going to pop off. Pop off, come on, pop off. Looks okay. What about the other side? Can we get the gasket off without damaging it?
but the gasket seems to be in one piece. It seems to be split or anything. Zoom you in, see what it looks like on film. As you can see, there's like a little chip at the bottom, and there's some lines going through. So maybe it's something to do with that. I don't know. I'll try and uh, dress it up with a very fine file and try that and if that doesn't work then we'll have to put some uh, gasket glue on it to try that. So I'll try a little flat file, get rid of any burrs, so just feel some burrs, just feel a bit burry, a bit burry. Don't worry, this is the finest of files. Still like for your nails. Yeah, but I did cut it. There's a couple of burrs on this as well. All we can do is try that. Anyway, let's try that. Alright, let's stick it back on. Let's give them a little dip up. Should do it. Now that we're going to have to turn the engine over. Right, I'm going to have to turn the engine over on the starter button to get the engine oil back up into this part of the engine. Make sure it's nice and dry. Right then, let's start it up. And Keys on. Ignition. Nothing. Get your power pack shot off, Johnny. Try again. Kill switches on. No petrol in it. Well, that should be enough. If it's going to leak, it would have leaked by now. So let's have a look. Right then, is it leaking? Yes, it is still leaking. So we're going to have to put some of that glue. Glue. We're going to have to put some of that blue gasket glue on it. And hopefully that will do it. So I think we've been on that long enough. Okay, so next we can go to the indicators, but I have actually fixed them. Uh, I took all the tape off and I find a, I found a break in one of the wires. So I've soldered all that, all, put it all back together. And now I've got neutral oil. Press the turn signal. And there we go. And you can actually hear the flasher. Flashing. Do you do that when you're sitting at the traffic lights in the car and you've got your uh, turn signal on and it's going? So you start going like that on the steering wheel. Get the rhythm going. Right then, enough of that. What next? Oh my god, I'll get used to this camera one day. There we go. Right then, so that's them four things. Well, two of them four things fixed. Two out of four ain't too bad. About 50-50, I guess. So anyway, we've still got a bit of time left. We've got the air box in. Got all these air, back, air, 
e -box. We've got all these e-box antennas, so let's fit all them. So yes, we could also fit the Altlif Alt Fly. Altlif Alt Fly. Oh, I mean the iFlow Filtro. Right then. This is the actual lid for the filter. I believe this rubber pipe goes into this part, which looks like it's got a bit fun and games. Try to get that into there. Yep, that's it. So that's that into there. And I believe that thing goes into there one way or another. We'll work it out. So let's get this on the other side of the bike. Yeah, so that lives in this part. So let's try and get that in. Right, that's on. Did take some doing. Had to undo all these bloody wires. But anyway, that's that one. So let's try and get the wing piece on. Right then, so that just bolts onto the frame there with obviously that. And that just slots in there, obviously. Just goes in there, bolts in underneath. Tighten the bolt up like so. so. That's this side done, but like I say, I'm probably going to have to take it off again to get the bloody fuel pump in there. Sorry, it's a bit dark. Let's go around the other side where it seems to be lighter. Right, get the air filter out. Cool. Just a paper, a paper element. Uh, so I guess that must go in that way round. Right, try and get some light on it. So we'll just uh, push that into there. Make sure it locates into that rubber on the other side. Maybe it's the wrong way round. So that's into there. Then we do get these uh, little wedge things. Is that in there? I think that should uh, slot over there. Obviously, that way round. Go. Oh, they don't like to give you much room, do they? Right then, that's it. On. If you've got to change your filter on your CBR1000F, my thoughts are with you. Right, so we can stick that in there. And put the little screw in underneath. I think we're getting close towards the end now. There's not much more to do. We've got to do, still got to do the brakes. Got to get a fuel pump. That'll be the uh, biggest setback. Uh, still got to do the front wheel and the tyre. Put all the nose fairing on. And we've got to sort these uh, back end out. Then I think we're done. Yes, then hopefully it'll be MOT time. But after that, the first ride. <laughs> cool dear, getting close. So there you go, that'll do for this one. Yep, we didn't get too much uh, progress done in this video, but uh, any progress is good progress in my book. And if you go down to the description in the bottom of my video, you can check out my super thanks. And I'd just like to say a big massive thank you to Derek from the Solo Motor UK channel with a really big cup of coffee. Cheers Derek.
Yeah guys, if you want to go and check his channel out, he's got the uh, Royal Enfield Scram 400. And he's also got another new bike coming on the way. Go and check him out. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. I see you in another light, brother.